Hello everyone and welcome. This is our unboxing for the Lions of Casterly Rock, the second expansion for the Game of Thrones LCG, second edition. Now before we dive in, I, Robert's here. Robert is a big Lannister Lannister. loyalist. Um, I am a Targaryen loyalist, so I'm friend to Lannister, Mm. depending on the 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 year you're reading about. Uh, Before we dive in, if you aren't aware, we recently announced our partnership with Shire Post Mint to be the exclusive US retailer of their beautiful coins, of which we have a few Lannister versions, officially licensed coins made on the white gold because they're Lannisters and they have rich Mm. things. Yes. So if you haven't checked those out, do that. We also, of course, have the compatible banner tokens featuring a lion. So if you want to upgrade, if you happen to be a Lannister fan, fan, like my friend Robert, uh, check those out. As always, thank you guys for your support. So, you ready to dive in? Yeah, let's do it. And before we dive in, there are a bazillion cards in this box. Pour drink uh, now. Most, most of which, not most of which, maybe half, I guess, are Lannister. We're going to be covering all those cards. We may be going fast through some of the cards that are less interesting to us. Not so fast on the we'll ones where stridently. We may have uh, soliloquies inserted or jokes in the middle, joke sessions. Oh, soliloquies. Um, so sit back, relax, grab a drink, and uh, let's roll. So what are we starting with here? Let's do it. Starting off with Cersei Lannister. Mm, the queen herself. That's right. Uh, she is a seven cost, six strength character with intrigue and power icons. Loyal, of course. Lady and queen traded reading. Cersei Lannister does not kneel when declared as an attacker during an intrigue challenge, or rather in an intrigue challenge. And then reaction after one or more cards are discarded from an opponent's hand. If you do not support that player, Cersei Lannister gains one power on it three times per round. That seems good. Pretty good. She's really expensive. The art's great, first off. Mm-hmm. That's very regal Cersei. Yes. I'm always curious. She's poised. I'd be curious to get your thoughts on this. I'm always curious. She seems in every Game of Thrones game I've ever played to be good at entry challenges. Mm-hmm. She only seems medium good in the books. Yes. Well, I mean... That's uh, intriguing to she, me. She's, you know what I mean? she's just so tenacious. I mean, uh, she's she's not going to give up. She's got uh, white knuckles on the, the throne there, so uh, she's just ready she, to... She is tenacious. Uh, what do you think about there. this card in general? I think it's pretty good. It's very reminiscent of the uh, first edition card that was highly similar to that. Doesn't kneel to attack uh, kind of a thing. Uh, so... Yeah, I th- I and, think and pretty, power, power in decent. second edition is harder to come by. For sure. So this is any time they discard a card, which means even card effects that aren't intrigue challenge mm-hmm. based. Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Seven cost is continuing. Lenish is the one that can afford it. Yeah. But seven cost is uh, expensive, so she's kind of the centerpiece of the deck, I guess. You gotta want it. Yeah. Um, but she she's up there. I think she's better than the. Uh, the corset one. We corset. Had. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Next, let's get to Tyrion Lannister himself. He has a seven cost tricon yeah. with five strength, Tyrion Lannister. He's a lord, he is loyal, and he has a reaction. After you win a challenge, return an attacking clansman character to your hand to choose one. Draw two cards, gain three gold, or raise the claim value of your revealed plot card by one until the end of the challenge. Twice per face. That's pretty cool. I like that. And that's it, he doesn't have to be in the challenge either. Correct. Okay, and we haven't really seen. So you just got to win a challenge, right? and then the the clansmen are going to trigger stuff. And um, having already thumbed through these a little bit, uh, I this, have not. This, this is, is all new to me. He, he's going to be an engine that will uh, really help the clansmen decks thrive. It's it's kind of the foundational piece to the clansmen deck for sure. Is what it feels like, and that's. I mean, these are powerful abilities. I think Free the copies. the thing about him that's going to the worst thing about him is that his name is Tyrion Lannister. Exactly. And he's there's gonna a corset one that is so good. He's going to compete with the corset, which I think is just the more universally usable. But it's cool. I feel like both with Cersei and Tyrion at this point, it's thematic. Mm-hmm. And it's theme deck yes. instead of like fundamentals of the game, which the corset should be. Yeah. So it's cool to see them kind of expanding what these characters, where they can fit. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, it's, it's exciting times to be able to make the choice. Um, next right. up, we have Sir Kevin Lannister. He's a six cost, four strength character, intrigue and power icons, knight, lord, and small council. Traded, very cool. And then reading reaction, after you marshal Sir Kevin Lannister, cho- choose a Lannister or neutral location attachment in your discard pile and put it into play. That what? is very nice. That is crazy. Woo! Lannister or neutral location or attachment comes out of discard into play. For six, I think that could be bonkers good. Uh, but you know, it's conditional, but it's a championship card, so there's gotta be plenty of juice that can keep that is, this I feel like this is just card at least a one of in a lot of decks. He's not he's not loyal, so you can splash him. <clears> I was gonna say out. splash him yep. land the locations and neutral. Mm-hmm. I mean even just the if you discard the the minus three location, yeah. uh, get it back, mm-hmm. he becomes ultimately like very nice. A very cheap character that's doing some some things. And of course, he doesn't do anything else. Correct. Right? Yeah. He's a six cost with two icons and four strength. So that has to be pretty powerful. But I'm just immediately picturing like what Lannister locations might we ever get that are just 
Yeah, so just keep an eye out. He's going to only get better as time goes on. That's right. All right, next we have Timmet, son of Timmet. He was, I just remember seeing him so much in your Klansman deck in first edition. Oh, man, he was great there. Timmet, yeah. Is he the had one with like, the messed up eye on the picture? Uh, I what, that guy? think so. We may get that art again at some point. Anyways, Timmet, son of Timmet, six cost, military and power. He is a Klansman, of course. Reaction, after you win a challenge in which Timmet, son of Timmet, is attacking, choose and kill a character with printing cost X or lower. X is the number of Klansman characters you have, you control. That's really good. Really good. I mean, removal is always good, yes, right? And if, you, if you're playing good. the theme, and this is going to depend, I feel the same way as Dothraki. Like, I can't wait to get enough of them to really feel like I can oh, yeah. play a Dothraki deck. And he's doing all that with a kitchen knife, guys. I'm yeah. Gonna, sh- if you have, if, I'm just, even if you have three or four out, if you can just kill three or four cost characters. Oh, yeah. Because there, there goes the fodder for claim and all that. And let alone standing him. Yes. To do that, because it's, it's not limited at all. That's correct. So, like, he could do that multiple times. Ooh, scary Hold stuff. On, I got to read something. Uh oh. Okay, so it's why he's attacking. I was making sure it was only on offense. Yes. Okay, next up we have Sir Jamie Lannister. That's what I'm Five about. cost, four strength, military and entry guy, Khan's personal favorite. <laughs> uh, Kingsguard and knight traded. Each knight character you control gains renown while attacking alone. That's wow. pretty neat. And then challenges action, choose a Kingsguard character until the end of the phase. That character gains an entry guy, Khan. Limit once per phase. That's pretty cool. He's got a lot of uh, a lot of effects going on there. That yeah, I mean, sweet. it's... The way that, uh, that each knight character ability mm-hmm. works is really cool to me because that is the kind of thing that in first edition would have been all your knights gain renown. Sure. And that gets crazy, mm-hmm. right? They have to be attacking alone, yep. so it can't get out of control. But still, the fact that your your Kingsguard or your knights actually even better get renown, that's really powerful. Yeah, that's and very I think good. this is, again, he's going to be competing with the original Jamie, mm-hmm. who's really good. But I think this fits into any knight deck that you want to do. Oh, heck yeah. And he makes your Kingsguard that a lot of times don't have entry get it. Mm-hmm. So. That's actually a really reasonably good journey. Yeah, he's, he's doing a lot of things to kind of round out some of those traits yeah, where I they like lack. It. All right, next up, Ooh, we have the man, the favorite. myth, the legend, Tywin Lannister. He's five costs this time. The course that one is what, seven? Seven, yeah, he's beefy. He's crazy. And a tra- this is only, he only has intrigue and power, no military. So mm-hmm. this is before the war. He has lord and small council trait. I'm excited to see how they use small council. <laughs> he is loyal, of course. He is Lannister. He has pillage. And he has an interrupt. When exactly one card is discarded from a player's deck, instead look at the top two cards of that player's deck and discard one. Pretty neat. That's cool. Obviously with Pillage, synergy going on there. Normally it's hit or miss Mm -hmm. as to whether that's going to be beneficial to you. Be able to look at two. Still, I think the problem with Pillage or this ability is the fact that you, your opponent has to be running locations for you to really get the most out of Pillage. For sure. Uh, I never like... I never lean towards cards that require my opponent to do yeah. something. Yeah, and, and kind of back to what we said almost at the start with some of these uh, similarly or like-named uh, cards. This is competing against the perhaps best card in the game, which is Corbox Tywin. Uh, so yeah, and I think um, I'll be really curious because if you're not aware of the current meta of, of Thrones, Lannister <laughs> is very strong according to most people. Mm-hmm. So getting a box for Lannister is funny, but at the same time, <laughs> Tywin and Tyrion from the course that are often regarded as like. Red best characters cards. in the game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I could easily see this. The other, the hidden benefit of that Tywin, though, is you get a discard a card and one stays. Yeah. And so you can kind of filter their deck for them totally. in a bad way, mm-hmm. where it's like, oh, I already killed your Tyrion, so I'm going to leave the Tyrion dupe on the top of the deck. Yep. Or just knowing what they've got, mm-hmm. kind of coming down the pipeline is helpful. Yeah, having a choice of the uh, the lesser two evils is, is handy sometimes. Okay, yeah. next up, we've got Chella, <laughs> daughter of Czech. Uh, I think that's how you say that. that anyway, art, dude. Uh, four cost for three strength uh, military intrigue icons, which is nice. Clansman traded, of course. Chella Donner of Check gets plus one strength for each ear token she has. It grows. Another token. Here we go. Uh, while she has <laughs> three or more ear tokens, she gains intimidate and renown. And then reaction after a character is killed during a challenge in which Chella Donner of Check is attacking, place an ear token on her. Very, very nice. Yeah, this is, and there's there's weird ways to manipulate this, right? Because mm-hmm. if they're killed during a challenge when she's in it, so obviously military challenges with her are are good. Yes. But on top of that, if you're running something like Targ or a way of actively killing characters in challenge, even with uh, Lannister, you put to the sword in yeah. a military challenge, mm-hmm. stacking up these ear tokens really quick, she's going to get strong quick and intimidate on a character that also has a plus strength built in. Watch out. Yeah, because she, she, she could be extremely potent at a certain point for sure. Yeah, but it's that's... It's a great deal for four cost, I think. Yeah, and I, I, she's a solid character either way, but then it's just that, like, I, what will happen with her is they're going to have to use a removal on her mm-hmm, or working sure. on her instead of... Other things. Because, yeah. you know, an eight-strength eight intimidate character, not... 
Max. Not good for business. All right, next that. up, we have Sir Gregor's Marauders. They're House Kulane, they're Raider. They are not clansmen, be aware. Four cost military intrigue, four strength. They're not loyal. They have pillage. I'm sensing a theme. Reaction. After Sir Gregor's Marauders discards an event using pillage, stand Sir Gregor's Marauders. Woo! It's getting more interesting. And that tie one we talked about earlier mm -hmm. also getting more interesting here. Yep. Because now it's not just events, or it's not just locations that I get to play with pillage. Now it's potentially cards I get to stand if I discard an event. Mm hmm. Getting saucy. I'm just so, saying. Oh, it's these, I uh, might change my tune by the end of this video. Shadow War Lannisters here, just raiding and pillaging and being jerks all around. I, I, I think it's cool. And to speak to the meta again, real mm -hmm. quick, the fact that it's not just <laughs> building on what they're already good at. Yeah, for sure. Is very important. Because this isn't, uh, I mean, it's vertical and horizontal design, right? Mm -hmm. Vertical would be we get more good things that make them even better. Horizontal is different options that are interesting. This feels very different. Yeah. So far. All right, next up we've got Shaga, son of Dolph. He is a three-cost, four-strength four, three cost, four strength character with a military icon only. Clansman traded, then reading, while Shaga, son of Dolph is in your hand, he gains ambush zero if you control a Clansman character or Tyrion Lannister. And then force wow. reaction. After Shaga, son of Dolph, ent <laughs> enters play using ambush, choose and kill a Lannister character. That's a steep control. cost. Woo! So, I mean, uh, ambush zero at a cost of killing something. That's right. So if you have like the little one cost little gold weenie, producers yeah. or the two cost the reducer whatevers, boys, or maybe a nelt character already, just ice them. And yeah, you need a character. There are th a thousand ways to make this worth your while. That's, this is a very interesting. I think surprise is something. So like in first edition we had ambush, mm -hmm. and surprises are a big deal mm -hmm. in first edition. Being able to shock your opponent with five extra strength or whatever. Yeah, totally. So this is powerful, and of course I, you can use it on dukes. By the way, correct. Kill a character, you can still save. So I think that's a really good clansman. Just when they thought that no gold in your reserves was going to keep the ambushes at bay. <laughs> oh no. Not at all. No. Here comes Shaka. Here comes Shaka. All right. Next up we have Taina Merriweather. She is not loyal. She has three cost, intrigue, power, two strengths. She's a companion, a lady, reaction, She's a, a lady skimmer. companion. That's interesting. Mm. Reaction. After you play an event, choose and discard a card from your hand to draw one card. Pretty okay. That's interesting. Anything that lets you move through things that maybe not be the best right now. Second to card draw, card yep. cycling, cycling is, is what's up. Is and we, right. we also saw like Kevin who can put a location from your discard pile, right? Correct. So it's like discard your four cost location. Now you have a way to get it there. Yeah, you're setting forcibly, yourself up. Which is actually Force strong. Success. Yes. So synergy's there. Uh, she's a good little three cost character too. Think about it. I'll give, a, she, I'll give one thumbs up. She'd be worth it. Ooh, just one. Okay. She would be worth it. <laughs> three cons. Jokes. <laughs> Moon Brothers at three strength military icon again only. And then Clansman traded action during a challenge in which you control an attacking Clansman character. Kneel your faction card to put Moon Bros into play from your hand, standing, participating as an attacker. What? That is a wild ability. That is fantastic. So while you control an attacking Clansman, yes. you know your faction card, so you can only that once a turn. Mm hmm. But the Moon Bros into play from hand and yes. standing. And so it's use standing. Them again. Use it again. Put it in a challenge that he doesn't have icons I for. I mean, checking all the boxes. This is a great card. The uh, heaven forbid you have multiple ways of doing military challenges, let alone into play from your hand. Wow, that is that's strong. Very good. I'm gonna go ahead Man, and vote strong are doing, on that. Doing some work. All right. Next up, we have the Red Keep Spy. Ooh. She is loyal. She's an ally, a spy. Three cost, three strength, intrigue icon, ambush. Four, so pay more to surprise. Mm -hmm. Also, Lannister has like Tyrion, who can get gold mid challenge, all that kind of stuff. Anyways, reaction. They can pay for it. They can. After Red Keep Spy enters play using Ambush, choose a character with a printed cost three or lower. If you have more cards in hand than that controller's character's controller, return it to its owner's hand. Gross. Woo! It's dirty. That's a that's a thing. Mm. I like that a lot. Well, oh. it's like you know, initiate military. You have your little claim soak guy, mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh. Put her in, bounce, bounce, and then now you don't. Or remove it from the challenge, mm -hmm. right? It's like you blocked with a little guy. And then removed, I win by five now, put to the sword, game over. You just I do like, the dance. I like it. That's strong. Man, this is useful stuff. This is getting just crazy. A lot of, just a lot of ways to just mess with everybody's plans. Uh, next up, we have Al <laughs> Al 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 <laughs> Al <laughs> Al Alaya. I <laughs> hope well, I got uh, that right. To be fair, I was scrolling through, the, I was thumbing through the cards before the thing, and I was... 
him, me, him, me, him, me. Who's going to have to read it? And I realized it was you, and I was excited for Alaga, that. Alaga, yeah. Alaga, yeah, yeah. Um, a two-cost character with two strength, intrigue only, a companion again, spending a lot of time at the brothel. Hey, um, that makes sense. Yeah, that's they right. got the money to pay for <laughs> it. Reaction. After you win a challenge in which Alaga, yeah, yeah, is participating, move one gold from the losing opponent's gold pool to your own. Not bad that's, at all. Pays for your fence, pays for your ambushes, on and on and on. A two-cost character mm. that is intrigue, two strength. Already pretty good. Pretty okay. And then the fact that you get a snipe a gold, that's a two gold Unique, move, right? And yeah, it moves two gold transition so like, here. <sighs> that's Very actually good. really strong. Mm -hmm. you, turn stuff on for you, turn stuff off them. Exactly. What more can you ask for from a two cost And character? it's just, oh, she has to be participating. So at least there's that. Yeah, there's that. That's fair. If it wasn't that, I would raise some But again, questions. no limitations. So if you can stand her up, all that kind of good stuff. All right, next up we have the devout knight and lord himself, Sir Ooh. Lancel Lannister. Not loyal, two strength, or two cost, zero strength. <laughs> how, is, how appropriate. Which is great. Have we <laughs> seen zero strength? I haven't. I can't swear to it. Military intrigue, knight lord. While you control exactly one other Lannister lord or lady character, Sir Lancel Lannister gets Ex exactly plus one. X strength. Exactly. X is that character's it's not strength. Forget. That is hilarious. This is really good. It's it's super thematic. Uh, I love this card. That is so funny. So it's like, obviously, if you control Cersei, he gets her strength. Correct. Which is powerful. Yeah, for two. Uh, or Tyrion or whoever. But, but it's got to be exactly one. Yeah. yeah. He's, that's a hilarious card. He is just living in someone's shadow. That is great. Um, next up, we have old Tommen Baratheon and his Oh, it's his a kitty cat. Uh, oh, my goodness. That's so cute. Uh, a two-cost character, two-strength, power only. King and Lord traded. Each player with no cards in his or her hand cannot gain power from challenge bonuses, unopposed, and rivals. This is pretty nice. So that doesn't count... Um, Renown, obviously, Correct. but just unopposed and rivals. Unopposed so and rivals. Un turning off unopposed is extremely powerful. And there, are, you know, there's a lot of times when you get down to little cards, especially with Lannister. Totally. If you have an entry heavy deck, that's as interesting. I I'm curious. He's king. I think that trait could be helpful in various <laughs> various ways. Mm -hmm. While your opponent doesn't control king, that kind of stuff. So interesting. I think my favorite part about this card is the art. The art, yes. Look at all this. Which one is Sir Pounce? All right, next up we get the Luminous Lannisport Guard. He is loyal, two cost, military intrigue, two strength, ally, guard, after you marshal Lannisport Lann Guard, each player draws one card. What? Each player? I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. That's pretty good. I mean, those icons, that strength, that cost, yeah, and I mean, pretty reasonable. Lannister, again, they, they have the money. Mm -hmm. So the ability to draw a card, especially if, if they have to marshal first, you play this, you each draw a card you're probably more likely to have a benefit there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, depending on tempo, it's gonna work in your favor. Yeah, that's a, a curious card. I'm, I'm very curious to see the general reaction or how often that guy gets gets. Yeah, around. no kidding. All right, next up, the Golden Tooth. That is gorgeous. No longer mine, just the Golden Tooth. Uh, two cost location, loyal, and then reading, or excuse me, traded with Stronghold and the Westerlands Limited, and then action, Neil Golden Tooth to gain one gold, and then in parentheses, three gold. Instead, if an opponent has no cards in his or her hand, what? That is phenomenal. So you pay two, Ooh. you immediately kneel at game one, and at that point, your opponent cannot run out of cards. Correct. <laughs> Otherwise, unacceptable. Yeah. But you're the Lannisters. You're going. You should hopefully be making them run out of cards. But this is the kind of thing that, in the current meta anyway, is just going to put gasoline on the Lannister fire. That's Woo. what we call vertical design. That's right. <laughs> All right. Next up, Mountains of the Moon. It's a one-cost location. It's not loyal. It is unique. It is Westeros traded. Reaction after a clansman character enters play, that character gains a challenge icon of your choice until the end of the phase. So, you deploy a character. Doesn't matter. You do any number of the, uh, what ambush was his name? or put into play, uh, uh, Shaga. Shaga uh, yeah. comes into play, mm -hmm. the ambush one. And the moon bros. The moon bros. There. <laughs> I, love, I love moon bros as a concept. <laughs> that should be a podcast, please. If you're listening, start moon a podcast, podcast called the moon bros. Anyways, uh, that's really powerful. Yeah, this is incredible. It's, it's not limited. You don't have to like kneel this thing or anything like yeah. that. And it makes up for a lot of the shortcomings the uh, clansmen generally have, which is lack of icons. And now they don't. Now lack they don't. The icons. At least for the first turn. All right, next up, Lannisport Treasury, mm. a one cost location, not loyal. The Westerlands traded reading reaction. After the taxation phase begins, place one gold from gold pool into Lannisport Treasury. I already know where this is going. That's great. And then marshaling action, Neil Lannisport Treasury to move any number of gold from Lannisport Treasury to your gold pool. This is one. <laughs> One of the cards that I had been all but bang for in first edition, some way for Lannister to circumvent or hedge against the taxation phase. Here Yemeni it is. It's a trickle, Christmas. but guess what? It's 
not unique. Or limited. Or limited, so you can pile these up. And guess what? If you didn't spend all the gold, you still can. And so, I mean, this is... I, I love it. Initially, I'm like, ah, why are they getting this? Why is it? Why are they getting so <laughs> many good gold cards? Of course, you have to have gold left over mm -hmm. to get it. You're going to pay one, so you're already down one. Yep. For the ability to, to save after tax. Sure. Right? So, of course, with Corset Tyrion or Corset Tywin or both, great card. Yes. Like you just have all this gold left over and it piles up what? and then you can cash out whenever whenever mm -hmm. it suits you. Checks in the middle. Uh, so, I don't know. It's just are they too good with gold? Well, I mean that's that's kind of what they're all about. So, I don't I'm not necessarily offended by that, but I know how in the game it can become problematic. Yeah, well, and I, I think the other <laughs> what I'm really interested to see is in like a year, right? Mm -hmm. We have another box or two, several more packs. Um, right now, when the game has a much more limited card pool, mm -hmm. being way better at gold can be a problem. Yes. Uh, but very soon we'll have Valor mm -hmm. uh, and all these things. So at some point, maybe having a bunch of gold isn't going to be yeah. the only the thing insurmountable that, problem. The insurmountable that is thing. Now. So yeah. we'll see what happens. All right. Uh, next up, we have the Shield of Lannisport. It's unique. Woo! It's a title. It's loyal. It's, it's got Skeletor on this cost. one. It, Lannister Lord or Lady character only. <laughs> you distracted me there. Uh, while you control no Lord or Lady characters with printed cost four or higher, other than attached character, attached character gets plus two strength and gains renown. Whoa. So let me just recap that. If this is on your only Lannister, only Lord or Lady, uh, yes. with four or higher cost. There it is. Plus two strength and renown. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Plus one gold. It's a very niche card considering like the high cost lords and ladies that are just everywhere. Yeah, but, but uh, the mean, effect Lancer's is got the juicy. Gold too, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Like, and there's like tears of list, I think, where it's at chooses a character without an attachment or the, it may not be tears, it may be uh, Dracaris. And I, I know there's a mm -hmm. couple that are like ha can't have an attachment. Anyways, that's interesting. It seems pricey, but it's it a very powerful pricey. effect. Well, yeah, we'll see how it juices things up. All right, next up, we have a two-cost attachment. It's the Valerian Steel Dagger. It looks pretty nice. Uh, Valerian Steel Traded and Weapon, and then reading. During entry challenges, attached character gets plus two strength and gain stealth. I think that's pretty nice. This, now, so this is the, <laughs> the <laughs> This attachment is way better. Yes, me. way better. This is always... This is phenomenal. It's Stealth? a great card. Gosh, and strength. it's not unique. That's I, the other part of this. You can run like two of these, and it's like, you get this on Cersei? Are you yeah, kidding me? All, or Tyrion? All, all the benchmark things where you need to win by a certain amount of strength to trigger X, Y, or Z uh, becomes way more feasible, especially because, not only because of the strength, of course, but stealth, stealth, mm. stealth, stealth. That card is incredible. All over the place. I Would, love it. This is, that's a card. Two mm. thumbs up. That's, that's four thumbs up. We're, you know what I mean? Worth noting, though, that this is uh, only during, the effect is only during entry challenges, but it works on attack or defense. That's so, I think it's so. So they're good. declaring their entry. Well, my guy has yeah. stealth now. Can't, can't bypass me. All right, next up, a Lannister always pays his debts. Love that Art of Tyrion. <laughs> Who's this very... guy's name? Mog, Mog, something? Mog. 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 I can't remember. Mog. Can't remember. Mm. Whatever. I don't know. It it's is correct us uh, if we're wrong. It is loyal. I'm sure we are. <laughs> mod, 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 mod. Nah, mod? No, I'm going to stop that. We're going to quit. Three cost event. It's loyal. <laughs> challenge is action. Choose an opponent who has won a challenge against you this phase. You may initiate initiate an additional military or entry challenge against that player this phase. For Christ. For sake. three gold and it's loyal, that is ridiculous. That is a superb card. Yeah, two challenges oh. for three gold, and you know they're going to have the money for this. That's the best part about it. Woo! And, and, and in military and intrigue, pay those debts. Good lord, Ooh, the, lordy! That, that's a very Martel feeling card. It's like, oh, I've you want a challenge one. against yes. me? Now Ooh. you pay the gold price. That's that's scary to me. All right, next up, uh, it's unbelievable. What is happening? Uh, Insidious scheme, a loyal Lannister event, one cost reaction after claim is applied for an entry challenge. You won by five or more strength. We were just talking about this kind of thing. Uh, draw two cards. Four instead of losing opponent has no cards in his or her hand. This is ridiculous. If you ever draw four <laughs> cards from this, <laughs> just this call it game. One. This costs one, and you could potentially get four cards. I don't know what to say or think or do about Man, this. But the, the, it makes me very excited for a targ box. You well, know it makes I mean? me. It, but uh, there's there's a lot of fundamentals going on here in terms of extra challenges, drawing cards, getting gold. Um, you, you can see why Lannister already was in a place of dominance. Because they're doing the fundamentals. But, but this, these are fundamental type cards. So uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe expect the trend of Lannister. Uh, strength in tournaments to continue. I mean, to be fair, though, not much to be desired with things like this. So Oof. far, with the least, they've been following the storyline, mm -hmm. right? It's like you get Stark, 
uh, as the first box. That's sure. kind of where the story starts. Mm -hmm. And now we have Lannister. They get introduced by coming to the Winterfell very early. And they are good at the Game of Thrones. Yes. Early and often. The best, perhaps. Uh, well. Perhaps. <laughs> see, I see the Game of Thrones as a very long-term affair. And uh, they seem to be out. Uh, yeah, well, I don't want to be There have only been five books for up to now. Only five. Yeah, so still, so George. <laughs> All right, next up, we have a daring rescue, one-cost event. It's not loyal. Play only if you control a knight character. That Jamie without his hand there, protecting mm -hmm. Brienne. Bear in the main fair. Anyways, challenge is action. Return a character you control to its owner's hand. Then have a knight character you control gain a power. Mm. The, uh, whoo. This is good for a lot of reasons. Yes. Tell us about them. First off, if you have attachments on a character that you want back or you don't want on that character. Good call. So, mm -hmm. because if a character bounces, attachments uh, float away. Or float into hand, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's how it works. You get a power, which is cool. Um, We've got two checks already. Two but. checks. A third <laughs> check and we're good. Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. And it's got good art. Three good checks are out of here. You did it. No, I think this is an okay card. <laughs> gain of power is fine. I think gain of power randomly, it can be the game. Of course, yeah. Um, if there are knights or characters that are like, when I have a power, gain this thing. Or mm -hmm. when I have three power, like old uh, Brendan Tully. Sure. Um, this is even better. And it's non-loyal, so you can splash it, and it will fill in those gaps uh, for these kinds of effects that you're working for uh, in any other character. Yeah. Or if you have any character, here's the third and final kicker. Oh, if you have that? a character that triggers when it comes into play. Okay. Boun you bounce ah, that character, mm -hmm. get a power, and you can play it again. Very right? nice. Kind of a thing. Yeah. So I think there's some cool stuff there. Cool. I like that. Okay, so that's the end of the Lannister card. We did it. Hear you us can, roar. Pretty much quit, quit watching now, because... They're the only house that matters, right? So, uh, right? if you're like true. me, and you've been waiting on the rest of the cards, <laughs> uh, here you are. Welcome to the real discussions. That's right. All right, so we're starting off with the Baratheons. We've got Edric Storm. He is a two-cost, two-strength character, power icon only, bastard traded, and then reaction after the dominance phase begins. Choose a character. That character does not contribute its strength to its controller's total for the dominant for dominance this phase. So we've already seen Baratheon being pretty good at dominance, playing with the dominance phase, and that's just more now the same. Now they're dominance and controlling. Important is that Edric Storm is getting his best art I've ever seen him Yeah, get. that's very good art for all Edric. I was not expecting Way that. Way to go. All right, disputed claim, <laughs> Baratheon attachment, one cost, not loyal. It's a condition, a bastard, lord, or lady character only. While you have more power on your faction card than each opponent, Attach character gets plus two strength and gains renown. I like this. This a is going to make Baratheon even faster. Do, 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 do. Yeah, they're they're tipping the balance with this one. It's if very cheap. early, you're like, oh, I'll put this on Robert Baratheon, and you just start going to town on those power challenges. This costs um, one. He already has renown, though, right? Uh, right? Don't put it on Robert. So, you know, put it on anybody else. Yeah, but this this is cheap. It's non unique. Um, this is a great card. I am out. Yeah, I mean, gain. Power in first edition or second edition <laughs> in 2.0 is a lot harder <laughs> to come by than yes. it was in first edition. Mm -hmm. So having ways to get extra power, mm -hmm. there will be a Baratheon rush deck. There yes. always is a Baratheon rush deck. This card will be in it when we have enough cards. Baratheon rush will be legit. It's worth it. Um, next up, we got old Victorian Greyjoy. Man, you're gonna get all the cool guys. Sorry, it's just the order of things. Uh, six costs, five strength. Power and military icons. He Ooh. is Captain Ironborn and Lord Traded. Very nice. Good Lord. Intimidate and Renown. Mm. Keywords. And then reading. Interrupt when a Victorian Greyjoy would be killed. Discard two power from him to save him. Very, very cool. Love that a lot. This, everything about this is great, right? Mm -hmm. Art's great. Cost to strength is great. Intimidate Renown is great. Powerful and keywords. Great traits. Playing off of their ability, right, to mm -hmm. not die. Yes. Thematic save. That's what they do. I love it. I love it. He's going to be so powerful it, in a world it. where valor exists. Mm -hmm. When you have these plots that are killing everything, and Greyjoy is going to get more powerful, I think, yeah. in general. They're going to have the zero cost claim locations and all that. Mm -hmm. And this is just more of the same. It's like, oh, he's. he's okay, I'll just make sure you watch that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll do what? All right, I, I think he's great. Yes, I agree. Great card. Next up, we have Old Wick. It's unique, two cost location, Iron mm. Islands traded, not loyal. Reaction. After you initiate a power challenge, Neil Old Wick to put the top Drowned God character in your dead pile into play, now participating as an attacker. If you win the challenge by five or more strength, return that character to your hand. Otherwise, place it on the bottom of your deck. Cool. Very thematic. You get an extra character for the challenge. If you win on, by a lot, very cool. they either go to your hand or mm -hmm. the bottom of your deck. So if it's a unique character, they're not dead anymore. The problem I have with this is that it costs two. And you can only trigger it after you have a Drawn God character in the dead pile. That's correct. So until that moment comes, when you have a dead Drawn God character, it's not going to do anything. That's right. It's effectively blank, and even when it does something, it's not doing anything to light in the world on fire. 
This card, honestly, could have been zero cost, and I'm not sure. If it would change anything for you? The thing it would change <laughs> is that it sets up well. Sure, that's true. But if it, if it, were, if it were literally zero cost, I'm still not sure it, yeah, it comes around. I, I ultimately agree, um, but I would note that if and when all the condition check boxes are met, um, it could be it's, some, it's some really <laughs> solid recursion. So, yeah, especially uh, if you like, uh, is it after that challenge? Yes, it goes back to hand or bottom of deck. You have to win by five or more to go back to hand, though. Yeah, yeah there you go. Mm. Uh, if it was phase, I would feel different, because then you have the character, and then they can die again. Yeah. And then you have this like recurring die thing. It's a like, nightmare. You know. Next up, we've got our Martells. Uh, Tristane Martell, four costs, four strength, character with intrigue and power icons, Lord Traded, reading, reaction. After you lose a challenge in which Tristane Martell is participating, choose a character that with, excuse me, a lower strength than his until the end of the phase, that character cannot be declared as a defender. Very cool. It's very interesting. So he's probably going to go in on your first challenge, mm -hmm. and anything that's going to boost his strength is going to make him even better. That's right. Uh, but it's weird because they... you got to lose with him participating is the, is the first condition here. Oh, so... even better, even better. Even better, mm. even better. Talk to us. So if you're going first, <laughs> you attack me in trigger power. If I can block with Tristan and lose, mm -hmm. Now I choose a character. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And then going into my turn, now I have offense, which is very Martell. Let me let you go first and lose some challenges and then make you pay. I was just setting you up to lose. Yeah. He's, it's thematic that he's good at losing, but because he's very good <laughs> at catching spears. That's um, right, in the face. All right, oh uh, yes. Um, one of the best quotes. We've been waiting for this. From the entire series, you murdered her children. Two cost event, non-loyal, challenges action, action, actual. Choose a Martell character you control until the end of the phase. Double that character's strength at the end of the phase where that character is still in play. Kill it. Dang. This is his <laughs> final form, uh, is what this card does. That is super cool. For two, two costs, double strength and then kill. Man, that is such a great card. Unbelievable. And super thematic. Thematic. Yeah. Double strength and kill a character. Again, a dupe can save. Mm -hmm. Some other form of save can save. Um, mm. That could be insane though. You have that like the Red Viper who by every five year wins by you gain power, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so this could be crazy. Interesting. Jeez. I mean, it's two cost. Uh, interesting. I mean, it, it's, I think it's worth it. Uh, interesting to note that it is not loyal. Splash. But you have to use a Martell character. Yeah, that's we can, we can handle that, right? But Lannister can pay for it. Oh, Lannister can pay for everything. You know what I mean? It's great. All right, next up, we've got Sweet, sweet Donald Hill, two cost, two strength, one intrigue icon, bastard and steward traded, no attachments except weapon, and then while Sweet Donald Hill is defending each attacking character, loses all keywords. This guy. We We've been waiting me. on this guy. This guy is bananas. This is, this is more Night's Watch just refusing to play the game. Woo! Woo! Dang. He's good. Love I think it. it's a great card. And look at that, that grin. Ooh, yeah, it's all toothy. I imagine he's eating some fresh meat. Yeah, fresh meat. I think that guy's great. It's back on the menu. All right, next up, we have a one-cost location for the Night's Watch. It's a unique Bridge of Skulls. Look at that. Ooh, heart. There's no safety rail here. The North traded interrupt. When the challenge challenges phase ends, choose an opponent who did not initiate a military challenge against you this phase. That player discards a card from hand at random. Interesting. Card at random from his or hand. Hmm. Okay, so it's I just a discard thing. It's basically you pay one and they Attack have me to military card. you. Yeah, uh -huh. which is I don't know. Like, is there a reason not to military me? There's got to be, but I mean, ho hopefully they're gaining something out of it. It, it. Hopefully it's goading them into attacking you so you can do something else can with the opportunity. Nice yeah. yeah, there are the like nice watch. Once you get your your wall set up, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, they can't they can't beat you at a challenge or whatever, and right. that's how you gain your power. Mm -hmm. Is they attack you and they lose the challenge, and so forcing them into that is is interesting. Yeah, so it's uh, it should be a win win kind of a card. For hopefully, you. either they're attacking you or they're losing the tools to win later on. Uh, all right, so that's it for Night's Watch. We're starting the Starks now. We've got Jane Westerling. She's three cost, one strength. What intrigue and power icons? Lady and Queen traded reading action. Neil. Jane Westerling to choose mm. and stand a Stark, King, or Lord. Now we know why she costs three. That is super, super good oh, for that sweet. or almost anybody. Sweetness. It's uh. in faction, but any stand effect is worth its weight in, in this case, three gold. Yeah, she's a great character. Great There's, character. I, I don't and need she's to say a queen, too. About that. And she's, she's a queen and, and a lady. She's a queen. Yeah. Uh, my least favorite part of the card is her face in the art. Her face. She's got like a. Scratchy face on Yeah. Well. Otherwise, otherwise, that card is perfect. All right, next up, Last Hearth Scouts. Stark, non-loyal, four cost. 
House Umber traded military power, force strength, force reaction after a character enters play during the challenges phase. Kneel mm. that character. Wow. Period. <laughs> that that's gonna really put uh, a Period. bummer <laughs> on all the uh, ambushing that uh, the Lannisters are doing. Interesting. So if you're not ambushing, you can run this and Correct. prevent yourself from getting ambushed. A lot of headache. A lot of headache was avoided. That's, Very... that's a pretty powerful <laughs> card. It's well statted, and that can really just turn some things off. And it's not unique, right? Yeah. Yes, correct. All right, uh, now we're entering Targaryen <laughs> territory <laughs> with old we made it. Uh, Shaggy Selmy over here. Uh, five cost, four strength, military and power icons, knight traded, reading reaction after you win a challenge in which Sir Barristan Selmy is participating. If you have fewer cards in hand than the losing opponent, stand him. So this is cool because he can just keep going. That's right. Over. And it's attacking and, and defending, over. right? Mm -hmm. So as long as I have less cards than you, Ding. he can just keep He's forever participating. Rolling. Somebody ate their Wheaties. If you had morning. a way to give him renown. Woo, wait for it. That'd be good. Wait for it. I wonder if we've seen any ways to give him renown. I'm just, just going to visit just back real quick. I'm pretty sure. Just yep. give, give it to the Jamie, uh, each night character can control against renown. That'd what? be weird. What if he's attacking alone? Mm. 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 That's mm. great. Yeah. Could be awesome. All right. Could be lots of power. All right. Next <laughs> up, Daenerys's favor. That's a fun word, Daenerys's. Daenerys's. Do you put an S after that? It's, I think you're supposed to be able to get away with just the apostrophe and calling it quit. Interesting. Daenerys but, is. No, but it's proper noun, so I'm not a grammar expert. I don't know. We're Steven when you need him. Of all the, anyways, her favor, two cost, <laughs> non loyal attachment, Targaryen character only. It's a condition. While attached character is participating in a challenge, each other participating character gets minus one strength. On both sides of the aisle. That's right. So here's what's fun for me. Bernie. Do you put this on their character or your character? Ew. Because if you put it on their character, they can obviously be like, oh, I'll just use that as claim. Right? Yeah. You could put this on like Tyrion or mm -hmm. someone they don't want to claim. But if you put it on one of yours, that is interesting because it's it's universally the way right but i control when it enters the fight not you correct because you can always not attack with Tyrion or whatever so anyways that's i think that's a cool card more burn that give is me, pretty cool can you give me all the burn just give, give i want the, the burn box. i want a box everybody who sees the burn say, yeah so. yeah all right next up we're heading into tyrell territory with <laughs> smells uh, good uh al Al Allery. Al Allery. Al like valerie yeah Without valerie the, the, with, uh, Allery Tyrell, she is a four cost, three strength, intrigue, and power icon character with house, high tower, and lady traits reading. Reaction. After Allery Tyrell enters play, search the top 10 cards of your deck for a Tyrell character with printed cost three or lower. Reveal it and add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. Not bad at all, I say. I mean, it's a big search effect. There's <clears> got to <throat> be somebody in particular in that cost range that might be beneficial to you, and you just drop them in. Yeah, I mean, obviously, if you have. Characters are looking for a card draw is always good. Having an extra cards fine. Having a shuffle um, is also generally potentially very good. Nice, yeah. If you get any of those, like, look at the top five, put them back in however any order you want. Mm -hmm. All right, next up, a rose of gold, a one cost event for Tyrell Song. I love the art on the it's very this nice. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Challenges action. It's like a look at the top three cards of your deck. Add one to your hand. Place the others on the bottom of your deck in any order. Woo! Not bad at all. I like that. One cost, non loyal. One cost card replacement and song traded. I like that. Yeah. Cool. All right, next up we have the High Septon with Looking a great. fancy crown. Woo. I like that he's, he's just High Septon. Yeah, just High Septon. Because there are multiple High Septons throughout the course, right? Yeah, they're, they're coming and going all the, the time. The uh, So he's six cost, five strength, entering a power icon, so the seven traded, which is cool. And then reading interrupt, when an opponent chooses a character you control as the target of the triggered ability, choose an eligible the seven character, like him, you control to become the target of that triggered ability mm. instead. Limit once per phase. Man, just soaks it if it's not it's what like, you want. It's like, oh, you're going to put to the sword. I'm yeah. going to actually make you do that on that Oh, High Septon is going to kind of jump in the way of that one. So that's kind of the start of a, a High Septon alliance. Man, uh, I would love that. Like, you just got all these, like, nicely crowned Septons running around here. Just or like, saying no to You everything. just have all the followers, right? All the mm -hmm. whatever, the sparrows. Yeah. And I'm maybe we'll see an agenda. It's That'd like be so cool. Sparrow agenda. Ooh. So it's like, you know, you choose your house and you align with the... The, the seven and oh, the man. thing. I would eat yeah. that up. Yeah. All right. Three cost character, devout free rider, military power, three strength ally, mercenary. The seven traded. Speak of the devil. Deal. During the challenges phases phase, each player cannot gain gold. Hey, hey! Challenge alert! Challenge alert! Watch challenge out, alert. Lannisters. That is an answer. Yeah. No kidding. Run three if you have Lannister check, check, problems. Check, check, check. 
He's not unique. He's great. Love it. Yeah, this is this is fantastic. Well costed, powerful abilities. Flash. Keep it in Bells, mind, everybody. Whistles. Yeah, that's right. All right, next up we have a Wildling Bandit. Wildling traded, of course, two costs, one strength. Kind of went out of order. Military and intrigue icons. And then reading, while Wildling Bandit is attacking an opponent with more gold in his or her gold pool than you, it gets plus two strength because he wants the gold just as much as anybody. That's right. So we're getting a little more. Uh, I'd like to see more of this. Yes. It's like penalize your opponent. For oh, so Lannisters, much gold. were you doing and well think, with the golden cards? So sort of, we so had the the when your opponent's hand is empty benefits. Mm -hmm. I, I also like the, like with Selmy, right? When you have less cards, when yes. you have less gold. And mm -hmm. I think that's a really cool way to balance it out. You're getting hungry. Where it's like you give Desperate. all these, not only is it thematic like that, but you give benefits. Like if Lannister is too good at gold, yeah. you can penalize them for it by making characters who are the poor, right? Like if the sparrows come in, it's like, anyone anyway, <laughs> more gold than you, this happens. Those sparrows. Anyways, all right, next up, we get Very Ocean cool. Road with a beautiful, just, sunset. We should have finished the unboxing with the old sunset. Mm -hmm. Zero cost location, limited, marshaling action, Neil Ocean Road to reduce the cost of the next neutral character or out of faction character you marshal this phase by one. Very nice. Zero cost. We're getting more and more economy. I think this is important. Consistent economy is required to have a consistent gameplay experience. When that happens, cards like Valor are more palpable. So, palatable, not pal pal palpable. Pal 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 I'm palpatining. <laughs> I'm just in Star Wars mode. So got Star Wars on the brain. Palatable. Palpatine. So, I dig it. Thumb up. All right, next up we have appointed a one cost attachment, title traded, unique character only, and then reading attached character gains an entry icon and the small council trait. All that for one goal. Super cool. I know in first edition you were into the small council uh, yes. thing, so I think we're going to get some small council. It's coming back in a very big way. Speak of, speak of the devil, one cost event. The council consents. Small council traded, a reaction. After a player wins an intrigue challenge by five or more strength, there it is. stand each small council character, <laughs> including that tie one we talked about earlier. Oh, man. Stand is good. That's fun. Universal stand on all your small councils, including whoever has this here appointed uh, card, means good things. I love that card. Oh, and speaking of cards I love is this pretty thing. Mm. This, is, this is like the creme de la creme thesis of Lannister. Oh man, yeah, totally. Uh, the Reigns of Castamere brought to you by uh, Alvaro Rodriguez. Uh, song traded, your plot deck must be 12 cards, including exactly five different scheme cards during the plot phase. Scheme cards are not considered to be in your plot deck. Mm. Reaction. After you win an entry challenge by five or more strength, <laughs> anneal your faction card to reveal a scheme plot. If that card leaves play, remove it from the game. My goodness gracious. So check your schemes. There's some doozies in there. Good. This is an incredible agenda. Yes. Part one. Part two is that this is crazy. Yeah, plots, it's just plots crazy. Are bar none, some of the most powerful cards in the entire game. Yes. Win an entry down. challenge, choose one. Mm -hmm. And when you play it, like, not only do you get the by five or more, by five or more. Not only do you get the impact immediately, mm -hmm. uh, but you also that's the plot in play, right? Correct. So whether it's a lasting effect or if the reserve value is way higher, who knows? Uh, remarkable. It, this is super super juicy. Uh, enjoy this, everyone. And I think probably more than anything is once Love people it. get used to playing against it, it's just don't let your opponent win by five or more in. <laughs> yeah, which is awesome yeah. in and of itself, right? But I mean, what those because uh, they're going to have to overcommit. Valerian Steel Daggers adding plus two and stealth entry challenges. And that's going to get whatever the silly card is that lets you do it again. Yeah. Military entry. Pay your debts. Yeah, especially with like corset. Oh. Yeah, oh. things are getting out of control. So shields up, everyone. <laughs> All right, next up. Love this art too. Lions yeah. of the Rock. It's loyal. It's a plot. Six hmm. reserve, four gold, four initiative, one claim. Reaction. Kingdom traded, by the way. Reaction. After the challenges phase begins, gain three gold. What more? What more do you want? Did we need it? Did we need it? Beautiful. That's gonna be great for ambush. Get it in there. <laughs> Next up, we have Whoa. unexpected delay. House Frey traded three gold, one initiative, one claim, six reserve, forced reaction. After the challenge phase begins, each player chooses a character without attachments or power. Return each of those characters to its owner's hand. Very nice. Very very nice. Just some nice bouncing over there. Hmm. That's good. No attachments or power. I like it. I'm a control player. So That's right. Bounce the characters. All right. Summon to court, I cool art. This. Six reserve, five gold, two initiative, one claim. It's an edict, it's a kingdom. Is that great? <laughs> Force to interrupt when the draw phase ends, each player chooses a card in his or her hand if able. Then reveal the chosen cards. Each player who revealed the character with the low, or each player who revealed the character with the lowest printed cost may put that character into play. Woo. That is dangerous. It is dangerous. Because if I'm sitting here and I'm like, <laughs> I have a I have a two cost and a six cost. Mm -hmm. And you're sitting over there and you got a one and a five. Mm -hmm. It's like, 
And uh, it's the kind of games I love playing in yeah. this kind of a scenario. You always choose the one. Yeah, choose the one. Get something. You, you don't give your opponent Be the better sure character. But Speak also, even better, uh, what if your opponent doesn't have cards in their hand? Exactly. That, I'll leave that to the rules lawyers to and sort out. And then it's like, uh, I'll go ahead and choose a mountain. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> and here he is. That's what's uh, going to happen. Speaking of uh, schemes from earlier, here's one. Uh, Little Fingers meddling, kingdom and scheme traded for gold. One uh, initiative, one claim, six reserve. Reduce the cost of each event you play by two. What? My goodness. This, this is what we're talking about. And suddenly the schemes started flowing and the, Sweet events, Lord. the events were all but free. This is, this is insane even outside of... Mm -hmm. Brains. That is a crazy it's a card. It's a crazy card. That is crazy. What very, is happening? Very nice. You got a handful of events. Well, offload them. Well, and what's worse is um, we've already been through so many just imagine, insane events. Imagine if you're playing as a target player and they just have free events. Yes. You can play three Dracarys. Okay, uh, Land of Surprise and Stats becomes one. Uh, Insidious Scheme, free. Uh, Daring Rescue, free. Yada, yada, yada. All those events that were crazy. Yeah. The three costs, get the extra challenges mm -hmm. in one? Are you, get out of here. No thanks. All right, next up, Gossip and Lies. A beautiful little piece of Tyrion and I think Shay. Scheme again. Five cost, or not five cost, <laughs> five uh, reserve scheme, three gold, eight initiative, one claim. Each character you control does not kneel when declares an attacker in the first entry challenge you initiate during the challenge's phase. Goodness. I love the high initiative on that. It's good. Sells it. It's all right. It's pretty good. Yep. All, all right. right. Get initiative. Next up, time of plenty. Six gold, one initiative, one claim, seven reserves, some are traded. Increase the number of cards each player draws in the draw phase by one. Plentiful, indeed. Which I, I dig if you're... It's pretty neat. Card draw is card draw. High reserve, a, man. Yeah, a little nice... Uh, you could be ready for it more than they are. Or like you're just out of cards. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. And it's like, can I get? Or you think they're gonna Valor? A little bit more. Uh, whew, yeah, I'll that's a good play one. This on that yeah, turn. get ready for that. And a six gold, actually. That's mm -hmm. the, the ring dinger there. Yeah. All right, and last but not least, early frost. You see the white raven. That means winter is coming. Four reserve. Winter traded. Three gold. Four initiative. Two claim. Loving it. Reduce the number of cards each player draws in the draw phase by one. Ooh, I like that a lot. Zingers. More. That's a lot better for me than uh, plenty. The the previous one. Mm -hmm. whatever uh, it was so there you have it, guys. One. Lines of Casterly Rock expansion. How do you feel about this? I think that there are some whoppers in here. Um, <laughs> a handful of whoppers. A handful of whoppers. So some would say a bag of whoppers. Bag of whoppers or a box of them. Uh, a great expansion. Uh, worth noting, of course, that these cards will never rotate out as the plan currently stands. Because they're in a box. Because they're in a box. So, so I mean, enjoy. I, I think the the Lannisters get a lot of new space to play in. Mm -hmm. They also get reinforcement for the current things they were good at. Uh, surprised by how many non Lannister cards you actually get. Yeah, no kidding. It's, it's well, I mean, it's it's two per house, and there's a lot of houses. Seven, so, seven yeah. other factions. Enjoy. And it makes sense because they can all, Lannister can align with all these, and they're non loyal. So yep. uh, I think it's a great box. The plots are cool. It's going to change the game, period. Mm -hmm. If Lannisters weren't already incredible, they would now become incredible, so they're going to be more incredible. Where does that leave us now? So, then? yeah, if you don't have this and you <laughs> want it, head to our web store, and of course, the coins. The power tokens. Subscriptions. They're all there. Oh, the yeah, works. subscriptions. If you want to automatically receive these, as long as well as like chapter packs. packs, sign up. Super easy. Come straight to your door as soon as they release. You never have to think about it. Click one button, it's done. And we're out of here. See you guys.